gonna survive. It's hot out there today. Oh man. So you know, like let's start and, and just coming back. Like, what was the process like? You know, to get you back, and how did you fight through it? Well, the process was long. Don't get me wrong. Like, it was tough not being out here, trying to at least help out with our team last year. So, whatever I can do to help this team win, I'm all for it. But it was an unfortunate situation for me last year. So my bicep, third game of the season, just just thought I was starting to get rolling. And then, you know, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. And then I happened to attack my rehab and just focus on this year and come back strong this year. So yeah. I feel great right now. Just trying to get my uh, my legs under me again. Just trying to get back out here and trying to get as much as I can and trying to help out this team. Like I said, like it's always, it's a team sport. I'm trying to help this team win as much as I can, yep. What are the biggest differences you see from last year's defense in comparison to now? Uh, I feel like just with a, just with a little twist here and there, um, uh, it's pretty much the same defense that we run. But it's a little twist here and there, like some of the calls that we have, some new uh, terminology. But for us right now, it's just, it's the same thing for us. Just, yeah. Can you talk about your uh, versatility? You can play shade, you can play a three tech, a five tech. Is that something that you're seeing that you guys are doing more in this scheme? Or is that just something that is carrying over from the previous game? Uh, I feel like it's something with the scheme this year too, but uh, it carry over from last year too, like I said. Whatever they ask me to do, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm trying to help this team as much as I can to win, you know? So, yeah, that's it. Daniel, what kind of growth have you seen going up against the offensive line now that the pads are on? Yeah, it's, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job this year. Like, the offensive line, I, I'll give credit where it's due. So, they're coming out strong, like, uh, with the new offensive coordinator, the scheme that they run over there. So, yeah, I got to give credit to them. So, they're working their butts off, so. We just kind of come out here and compete every day. Yeah, you know, how challenging is it uh, to stay home on those bootlegs that they run and moving pockets? Like, do you, do you feel like they're selling those well? I think so too. Like, I feel like it's all all, all in, within the scheme that they have now. So it's really tough, but we just got to work through it and just come come out here and compete every day. Yeah. Unfortunate situation with Christian not being here. As you look at the defensive tackle group, like, how are you guys sort of trying to fill in for what he? Oh yeah, it's a going uh Bimo is my guy. Me and him talk to him almost here and every day. It's an unfortunate situation. I don't wish that upon every anybody. So my prayers are with him, hopefully for a speedy recovery. You know, for somebody like him, like he's a high motor guy. So it's very tough to like to fill in that type of role with him, especially the type of year that he had last year. So for us right now, we just kinda come in and uh trying to compete at a high level, trying to have that standard that he has for all of us, and especially the coaches too, that they have for us. So, uh, of course, like that's a big role for, to fill with be more. But for us, we just kind of come, come out here, compete, and do our job. Yeah, you've worked closely. Guys, let's say two more. You've worked closely with Coach Covington in prior years. What can you tell us about him? Oh yeah, uh, DC is a very intelligent uh, individual. So, um, with the situation that with with him in right now, I'm very happy for him. Like, I feel like he's very deserving of that position. So I'm happy for him, but we're looking forward to this year too. Yeah. Daniel, sorry, Daniel. It looked like during uh, one rep, there was a front out there, five guys with Mike Purcell in the middle, then you and Devon Gotch on defensive end. What kind of attitude does that give when you have that kind of personnel out there? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Like for us, when we have those uh, three big guys in the front, like we have pride in ourselves trying to stop the run and try to not let anything in the, uh, in the end zone. So. All of us, we just gotta create that wall and try to make plays and try to stop the run right there. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.